Hello everyone, uh, this is Shashank Barthwal from CloudSec and uh, in this video we will be seeing a walkthrough of the second challenge of the CloudSec. Uh, I will try to keep this video as short as possible uh, to not dive that much deep into the vulnerability. That's something you have to do on your own. I will link the, the resources in the, in the forum, right? So let's begin. So when you first visit the URL to the challenge, you are presented with this screen and uh, as usual if somebody visits robots.txt he will come across uh, two files xvigil.php and getsecret.php so if you visit both of these pages you will get to know i mean you will have sense that in order to do some stuff at xvigil.php you first need to get a secret from getsecret.php so let's start from that on get secret.php so uh, here's a php code uh, that is created for you to look at it and uh, have some sense uh, get some idea from it what parameters to pass in order to get the secret right so if you're wondering why you are able to see this code and why this php code is not being passed because this code is highlighted it has been expect expl explicitly highlighted and uh, it will not be get passed as a PHP code. So let's see what's happening here. So it will take the value of cloud parameter from URL, append it with a hidden value, and then calculate its MD5 hash. Then it will take the value of sec parameter from URL, append it with hidden variable, and calculate its MD5 hash. And these two values, will get stored in var1 and var2. So uh, one rabbit hole that we have created here is that hidden variable does not contain any value. So that means if you will ignore it, uh, then it will look fine, right? So let's ignore the hidden variable and uh, let's only look at this get cloud and get sec. So what is usually happening in the first two lines is we are calculating MD5 hash of the value of cloud parameter and sec parameter, okay? Then next we are checking if both the variables are set, both the parameters are set. If is set cloud and is set sec. That means uh, you cannot omit a single variable, uh, a single parameter in order to solve this challenge. You have to specify both the parameters. Once they are specified, we are checking if they contain the same value. Both the variables should not have the same value. Otherwise the condition will break and it will simply print try harder. Okay. So uh, we need to specify two values. Uh, both the both the parameters must not have same values. And then we are checking if their hash is same. Var1 contains hash, right? Var1 and var2 are hashes. So then we are checking if their hashes are same. If the hashes are same, then we are simply printing the secret value. So let's uh, take a break from here and imagine for a second. Can we have two strings uh, which are different and their MD5 hash is same? Possibly right. I mean, uh, you know, a string can be of variable length, but MD5 hash is always of a specific length, right? So there are possible chances of collision, but uh, this is something we are not looking here, right? Uh, what we are going to exploit here is uh, the way this get is passed right so what usually happens is when you pass the value of the cloud parameter it usually takes it as string but what will happen if i pass it as an array or something else this md5 function right here okay, let me zoom in a bit this md5 function right here expects a string value it expects the inner value to be a string but what if i pass the value of cloud parameter as an array what's going to happen the md5 function will fail and this var1 variable will end up having nothing, no value in it. Okay. So if I pass it as array and this as array, then both the var1 and var2 will have nothing. And nothing equals to equals to nothing is true. And we will, uh, the secret value will be printed. So let's test it. Cloud equals to uh, first. Let's test with anything, any simple string, and sec equals to something. 
and it says try harder right but what if i treat it treat it as array uh, so in order to treat it as array simply simply append a square brackets in front of the parameter name and write any value like two or one so in this case values are not same right uh, so let's see and the secret value is printed and we know it how right because uh, the cloud the get cloud uh, will be a will be an array variable or an array value an md5 function will fail for an m uh, fail fail for an array variable and this var will have nothing and similarly for this var too and therefore the condition will be true and secret will be printed right so uh, this was the first part or the first way to solve this uh, to find this secret the another way to find this secret is uh, something called magic hashes we are going to exploit the type juggling vulnerability caused due to double equals to right so there is something called a type juggling vulnerability and magic hashes so let's quickly do a google search on magic hashes and you will come across this first article called magic hashes by whitehead security so uh, so let me tell you what this article says is uh, if do if you do a comparison between these two values right so if uh, any string has zero e in it in the, at the very first if a string starts with zero e then the entire string will be treated as zero that means zero and exponent to this that will immediately lead to zero right so if a string starts with zero e it will resolve to zero. So let's see uh, how can we exploit it here. We are getting the value of cloud and sec parameter. Then we are comparing their hashes. So what if we can get hashes which start from zero e? If both the hashes start from zero e, uh, for example, let's say the hash number one is something called zero e this anything I don't know hash 2 is 0 e and any other value okay so if we do a comparison between hash 1 and hash 2 it will always lead to true why because this 0 e uh, will resolve to 0 and this, z this 0 e will resolve to 0 and hence the hash 1 and hash 2 will be like 0 equals to equals to 0 and condition will always be true okay so we simply have to find two hashes or two strings whose hash starts with 0 e and uh, fortunately uh, those hashes were listed in this uh, article you can see in the md5 corner the string 24061078 if he calculates its md5 hash it will uh, it will be 0 e 46 something right so let's get this value and pass it as one parameter here This is the value of first parameter. In the second parameter, sec, we need to find another such string whose hash uh, will start with 0 e, right? So in this article, they are saying that I found that password 140, whatever that string is, converts to 0 e md5 hash, right? So let's use uh, this string as the second argument and see if it works. And yes, it is still working. Okay, uh, you might you might not be able to see the difference. Uh, yeah, let's do it now. Okay, so this is working. So if you are still not able to get that, uh, let me clear it out for you. We are calculating MD5 hash of two parameters, of values of two parameters, and if those hash are equal, we are printing the secret right but due to this double equals to there is no strict strict checking here so uh, if the first hash starts with 0 e and second hash starts with 0 e it will get resolved to 0 0 e or something will get resolved to 0 and then it will be like 0 equals to equals to 0 okay and the condition will always be true so this was the another way to find the secret value okay
so the first way was uh, by passing array array parameters second was uh, using magic hashes right so now once we get the secret value let's move to the next part of the ctf uh, that we have seen in the robots.txt xvigil.php right xvigil.php okay so this is just another piece of php code that was highlighted and uh, some php code is written there to test uh, to complete the ctf so what is happening here is it is checking if the value of hash parameter is empty and the value of xvigil parameter is empty then it will simply say incorrect hash otherwise it will get the value of parameter xvigil and store something called a secret in a b variable will append the append both the strings and calculate their md5 hash and store it in the hash then check if the calculated hash is equal to the hash you passed right if the hash is not equal it will simply say incorrect hash otherwise we will get the value of hash right so let's see uh, how can we exploit this and uh, can get the flag. So we need to pass xvigil. So let's see what two parameters do we have to pass. The xvigil parameter and hash parameter. So first write it there. xvigil equals to and hash equals to. Now what are going to the values of these things is uh, let's just pass any value as the x visual value x visual value is going to be let's say hello h e l l o right then in variable b there will be something called secret that will append a and b variable that means the value of x visual parameter and b so we know the value of secret right we now know the value of secret so let's uh, make a rough diagram of it so we are passing value of a parameters as hello b b contains the secret value and the secret is this right and now they are appending a and b string here a and B string and then uh, and then calculating their md5 hash so a dot B is going to be a dot B is going to be hello and the hash right this string is a dot B so then it is uh, calculating its md5 hash and storing in the hash variable so the hash variable is hash equals to md5 of this value right a dot B so that value is so let's calculate its md5 hash if you are not on uh, linux and if you are unable to calculate its md5 hash you can always use php's md5 function on w3 school md5 php test yourself run and this is the md5 hash okay now we know what a is now we know what b is and now we know what hash is right so let's see what uh, the program is doing it is checking if the value of hash is equal to the parameter hash so that means we have to pass this hash as parameter right otherwise uh, because now we know the value of hash variable and it is comparing it against the value of the parameter hash they both must be equal since now we know the value of this hash we simply have to pass the that value on the parameter uh, for the condition to be true so let's pass it here equals to and the ctf is solved and uh, to submit the flag you need to go to this form and uh, 
write your details in it along with the flag and your email address to receive points or uh, you know to register yourself in the list that you have completed this CTF. So basically, let me give you a quick summary of uh, what this challenge was about. So this challenge was uh, created to test your skills in PHP or in the basic source code auditing, right? That's what we do here, right? You audited the basic source code, the basic PHP that is used in web applications and see if you are able to identify type juggling vulnerabilities and if you are aware of uh, the array manipulation bugs, array injection. So that's what we did here. And so first, uh, there were two ways to solve this challenge to find the secret value, right? The first was uh, by passing array values in the parameter. And the another was uh, by exploiting the type juggling vulnerability and using the magic hashes to do that. Uh, so I hope you guys like this challenge and uh, kudos to Sparsh Kulsesh, um, my colleague who created this wonderful CTF, who had the idea behind the CTF. And uh, we'll be coming up with more such CTFs in the coming future. Uh, I guess one CTF will be there every month and I hope uh, you enjoy it a lot. Thank you guys. So that was it. Thank you.